Hey y'all, I'm Matthew. And I'm Michal. And thanks so much for joining us. We are so excited to share with you everything you need to know about what it takes to scan your family memories and use Photomine. Now, let's not waste any time and let's jump in. Where do we start? Well, first you're gonna need to set up your scanning station. There's a couple things you need to take into consideration before you start scanning. Okay. And a biggest, the biggest thing about it is lighting. You wanna make sure that the lighting you have around you is going to not produce any unwanted glares on the photos. Okay, so what do you think the best place in the house is to scan our photos? Well, it's really, really important to find a room with great natural light, right? We want it to just be very, very bright and very indirect. Okay. Something from the sides, big windows, somewhere where if you don't have the lights on, it'll still look bright and your photos look amazing after oh, you scan them. Sounds good. What you don't want is you don't want direct artificial light. So you don't want lights from above or in front or behind because you might get some shadows, you might get right. glare, all these things that are just going to make our scans look poor. What else? Is there any like accessory that you can use to make your scan even easier or even better? Absolutely there is. And as you can <laughs> see on our table right here, we have a ton of things that are going to make scanning your photos so much easier. And while the app is very intuitive and very simple and something you can do without them, these are all items that we actually sell on our Amazon store so you can find them on your own and figure out exactly what works best for your situation. Like this phone mount right here. So this I thing. I love this one so much. It's so <laughs> cool. So while I'm setting it up, maybe you want to talk a little bit about how it'll help? Basically, it just you can attach your phone here and it makes your phone stable while you can use your hands to organize your photos and it just makes the processor a bit quicker and more easy. Yeah, absolutely, as you can see, nice. right? It just hovers above your light pad or above your photos, for instance, right? It moves, which is really it's amazing. It's nice because when you find the perfect angle and the light, you can just leave your phone exactly where it is and just move your photos around. Absolutely. Uh, in addition to something like this awesome mount, uh, you know, you can see right here, we have this light pad, which is essential if you have slides or negatives. Yeah, because you need the backlight to make sure the image is clear when you scan it. Exactly. Have you ever used one of these guys too? Once. Ciao. <laughs> so here's, we got the phone tent, which is amazing for, as we were talking about before with glare, right? You can put your photos inside of this and you can scan this way. Yeah, it like makes the light softer. Exactly. Um, and have you tried one of these guys yet? I have not tried it yet. I'm so excited. This <laughs> is a Bluetooth clicker that you can connect to your phone and it'll actually allow you to scan without having to press the capture button. So you don't have app. to touch your phone at all. Exactly. These are some of the items that we have. We also have a bunch of other things like phone stands. We also yeah. have gloves. If you're, you know, don't want to ruin your negatives, your slides, you have mm -hmm. delicate things. And we have this other We have this right new mount too, which is, you know, basically the same point of this one, but this one can also hold an iPad. Um, is there anything else or can we dive into it? <laughs> we can start scanning. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> All right, and here we are, the meat and potatoes it's of It's about nine. time. We're gonna get scanning. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my phone, and we're gonna open the PhotoMine app. What I'm gonna do is, I have all these nice photos here, I'm gonna just scan this one right here to start. Okay. I have to tap the button for three seconds, and then it just does its magic, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but you don't have to scan them one by one. So here we have these three photos, the app you know, automatically crops and identifies each image, so you don't have to. I nice. mean, one, two, three, just like that. It's like... Nice, and it improves the color just like that, too. It's amazing, yeah, it auto enhances <laughs> it also. It's very important to note, though, as you're going about scanning, it depends really what the goals of your, of your project are. So let's say you really want quality. You want to possibly be able to print these photos later, we recommend one at a time, right? Okay. If you scan one photo, it's gonna be the absolute highest quality. Okay. If you scan multiple photos, imagine the quality of your camera gets divided by the amount of images that you take. True. However, some people like having multiple photos uh, and just wanna get through it quickly, so they don't care about the, the highest of quality because the quality will still be good as long as it's in your phone. Uh, sometimes you wanna like keep the shape of the album, right? Exactly. And you want like the whole page to stay as one page with a bunch of photos. Exactly, so now as you can see in the app right here, right? Yeah. We have all these different camera options. Mm -hmm. We have negatives and slides, which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, we have photos, as we saw already. We have this mode that's called scrapbook. Okay. And with this camera, unlike with photos where it crops each individual image, it actually allows you to take the scan and the app again will enhance the photos, but it won't crop the edges. Okay. Some so, albums are like pretty as they are and you want to save them like a yearbook exactly. or a scrapbook or anything. Are you a scrapbooker? 
I'm definitely a scrapbooker. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, and what about all of these? We can scan these too, right, through the app? Of course we can. <laughs> of course we can. We wouldn't have them out here if you couldn't, <laughs> right? So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to head over to negative mode so we can scan. But you want to try it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, as we mentioned before, you have to make sure you have a backlight of some sort while scanning yeah. slides and negatives, right? And it's really cool because it's the app actually develops it like, you know, like an old camera shop would. Okay. You can't really tell what the, oh wow, you can actually see their faces now. Yeah. And then the so app cool. knows how to like do the colors right to make it look like an actual picture. That's amazing. It's amazing. It's so cool. Why don't we show them how the voice control works? Let's do it. Okay, so let's try scanning these slides right here. What so we have to now? go to slides let's mode. Let's go to slide mode. Okay. And then you see this little icon on the top with the That's microphone? One. Oh yeah, the microphone, exactly. Okay. You can just say go and then scan your photos this way, right? All right, let's see. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> and that's so That's cool. like magic. I didn't touch anything. <laughs> I know. And, and the voice control really works well with this mount, too. I'll give you the honor. Go. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. The app rotates so it good. and everything. That's, that's so, so nice. That's so cool. Um, while we have it here, you know, we talked about it a little bit earlier. We did. But you haven't had a chance to use the clicker yet. I want to so much. OK. All right, so let's see, let's see what this photo looks like. Let's move this slide out of the way. Why don't you try that one with okay, the Okay, so I'm not clicker. touching anything. None of the photos, not my phone. Clicking. Easy. Perfect. So easy. Nice. I'm definitely going to use this clicker more. I know, it's so fun. My mom loves that one also. Nice. Whatever's most comfortable for you, and that's really what matters at the end yeah. of the day. And it's amazing that you can change between modes within the same album. Exactly. So. Right? Like, we can just literally go from slides to negatives and yeah. move, move right over the negatives and scan that. Right. It's, but you know, actually one thing we didn't talk about is that you can actually do text as well. Right. So, so you know, you have recipes or letters from your grandparents or something, you can yeah. scan them. And the last one, the last option we have is actually kids art. And I don't have any kids, so I have no kids art <laughs> to scan. But it's awesome yeah. that if my mom wanted to, that she could take all the things that she's saved for some reason for Yeah, instead of so having like a drawer full of them, she can just have them exactly. all on her phone. Her parents can take them off the fridge finally, that they've been dying to throw them away for <laughs> years. And they can, you know, still hold on to them and still be like, isn't this cute, this dragon yeah. that you made when you were seven. Okay, so once we're done scanning, how do we move on? Well, as you can see, there's a little done guy here with a number seven next to it, right? So okay. if we press that, that's going to create a new album for us. And now everything we just scanned in that one camera session will Goes. all be in one album. Nice. But we're not done yet, of course. No, we're we, not. We can't just scan them. <laughs> that, would be, that would be crazy. I mean, that's nice, but PhotoMind can do so much more, right? Exactly, exactly. So there's plenty we can do with our photos once we've scanned them now. We're going to go into this new album that we just scanned. We're obviously going to need to give the album a name first. Right. What should we call it? We can call it having fun, because <laughs> this is what we were doing here, right? <laughs> we are having fun. So we're going to call this album Having Fun. And in addition, you can add a date, too. So today is 2023. Let's just add a year. But if we wanted to add a day and a month, we could as well. Right. And we, you can even add a location, right? So we can even add Photo Mine Office. Let's keep going, because we might need to edit some things. OK. And with the app, you can edit some of the photos you've scanned very simply, and it's something that anyone can do. For instance, the photo scans, but it comes up upside down. So you can do things like rotate the photos. Okay. Also, you can crop the image. Sometimes, let's say it doesn't crop perfectly, you can go in and fix it and touch it up yourself. So right. it will be perfect in your collection. What else we got here? We got a couple okay. more So you things. can enhance the, the photo, just like general filters, which is fun, makes the color stand out more. What are we going to talk about now? Let's talk about Colorize. We're going to talk about Colorize. It's so cool, right? It's, I mean, I get excited talking about it. This one is li literally like magic. Because what you can do is you can colorize your black and white photos, right? So if you scroll below the photo, you'll see all these different enhancing options. So what you're going to do is colorize the photo. Uh, and what you'll see is... Wow, nice. Look at that. Look at the color in her face. Wow. It's Honestly, it's amazing. I mean, it's really, it's really awesome. It's so can, realistic. And we have another really, really cool enhancing feature. Okay. Now you see this little diamond at the top. Mm -hmm. You know what that guy does, don't you? If you tap the diamond on your photos, it's, called, it's our feature called Sharpie, and it'll actually sharpen the face of your photo. And as you can see in her face now, let me look at that. It's just so clear. It's nice. Wow. Perfect. We're not going to stop there. No, right? we're not. Because the story's not complete. 
Right, and the memories behind the photos are just as important as the photos themselves, right? Completely, completely. All right, so as you can see below, it says, what's the story of this photo? And this is where you enter all the awesome details that happened behind this photo. Right, so you can just say who it is, say when it was taken, you know? Exactly, maybe there's a little story behind it, something funny, so a little anecdote. You can put all that stuff in the, in the details box there. And also, nice. as you can see below it, there's a few other options here. So I really love voice caption. If you yeah. want to press that one right there. And you can see that you can actually add a voice caption up to a minute long. So, so we have detect text. That's if, let's say, the photo has any text on the photo. Maybe it was a, you know, a, one of those Polaroids and you wrote a little detail on the bottom of it that Apple will actually be able to detect it. And you take that text and put it into the description. Um, that's a cool little feature. But yeah. This Last guy, one is you can scan the back of the photo. So if you or your family um, wrote something behind the photo, you can scan the back and then save it with the photo itself. Let's, yeah, so you can see this photo, this right? Looks okay, beautiful, so clears scan. it up just as we saw before. We're going, we can actually click it right here. Yeah, as you can see right there, that little, little corner that's turned down. Yeah, and then scan the back of this photo. Let's flip it. You can see we have a little this bit of information about it. Dana. And that scan will just stay with the photo. And we're actually, we're forgetting, we're getting a couple easy things, right? Right, so this one, as we know from the back, is Dana, right? So we can tag her. Oh yeah, we can, because the app actually can tell who the faces are in each photo. Right. And once it finds the face, you can make sure to add the name so you can search for them later. Right. Uh, we have something called the People Library, which you can find from the home screen, and it'll take every one that you've tagged and make it so you can search for them easily, see all their photos in one place. Right. What else do we have here? You we can, can add, add a date. date. Yeah. So this one, as we know, was taken in 1985, and a location. All these details you're adding make it just so easy to search for the photos afterwards. <laughs> All right, so now what we have is we have our albums, we have our details, but sometimes it's easier to do it from a computer. So fortunately, we can do that. PhotoMind Portal is really one of my favorites. You can see all of the photos you scanned on a big screen. So all of the feature and enhancements we just showed can be done on a computer. But there are additional enhancing features you can actually do online as well. That includes, uh, you can use Sharpie not only on just the face of the photo, but the entire photo itself. So you can right. sharpen that whole photo. And also, you actually have a glare removing tool, which is very cool. So if you have a little bit of a shimmer in the photo, you can remove it from the website as well. And accessing the portal is very simple. Everything is all in one place. We really want this to be an easy journey for you. There's some sharing options we have in the, in the app, right? Of course, they're photos. You don't want them just hold them to yourself. Yeah. I mean, maybe you do. Do you like to? <laughs> I like to, but one of the biggest advantages of scanning your photos is easily sharing them after. It's right? Exactly. Yeah. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to show you all the really cool sharing options there are, right? So when you go to your album, you have all these photos you just mm -hmm. scanned. You just press share. Yeah. Let's pick a couple photos we want to share. We like this one that we colorize, this one we colorize. All right, so as you can see down here, we got a bunch of options, mm -hmm. right? So we have connected Google Photos. We also have share selected photos. Now that'll actually use the apps in your phone, right? So share by mail, that'll make it so you can send a quick email to whoever. Uh, let's see, we got save selected photos. So what that means is you can do it to your device or to your computer. Mm -hmm. You can actually save these photos kind of as like a Polaroid with the details underneath that. How cool is that, right? It has- Sort of like a postcard, you know? Exactly, exactly. It's super easy and it's really nice when you send something like this. And actually this one's pretty cool too, share as a collage. If you click that, let's see how that looks. You can see cool. all those pictures. Yeah, look at this, isn't that so That's cool? That's so nice. You can like right. take all the pictures of your mom, do a little collage and send it to her. I know, it's so nice. These print really well too. Um, let's go back. As you can see, we have share your whole library. Oh, do you want to go into this? I know you yeah, love this yeah. one. Yeah, I like this one. So we have this app called PhotoMind Share and then I can choose whole albums or my entire library and share it with whoever I want. Yeah, it's really easy. It's, what's nice about it actually is that it allows you to have some control over what photos you share while yeah. they can still feel like they're a part of this process, exactly. right? Exactly. So, so like, let's say this one is like more personal or something. So I can, you know, not share this one, not share this one, but then share the rest of them. Yeah, exactly. And this is just a companion app that they download on their own. It's connected to your account through a specific code that you send them. Right. Once they set that up, they can see all your photos on their own phones. The cool thing is they can add details to it too. I don't remember all the stories from my photos, but exactly. they might. So they can go in, they can add the details if they want, um, and then we can all enjoy them together. It's really nice. Exactly. 
I, you know, I think we've made it through everything, didn't we? I think so. I mean, we've scanned, we've shared. Now, PhotoMine, of course, is an application that is, anyone can download in the App Store or Google Play. However, the best way to actually use PhotoMine is with a PhotoMine membership. Now, a PhotoMine membership is so, so crucial simply because it allows you to have unlimited use of the scanning features. So you can scan as many photos as you want. Unlimited backup, which is nice because then you don't huge. have to save them to your phone. You just always have them saved on the app. And all of the cool features that we showed can be used, you know, in an unlimited way with a membership. Exactly, exactly. So I think we've come to the end of our photo mine journey. Yeah, I think we've showed like the entire process of how to save your memories onto your phone. You have this library with all your memories and it's important to just share them and share the love and be a part of this with not only yourself, but with everyone that's been a part of your journey with photos and your family's history. And uh, all you have to do now is start scanning. Just, just download do PhotoMine and get going. And thank you for being with us. Thank you, Michal, for thank being so Thank you, Matthew. Helpful. It was awesome. We hope you enjoy and we hope you get going with PhotoMine soon. Take care.